So this question is a diagram question, which just means it's based upon, in some way, it's based upon this visual input that we're given. So let's read the question. The first rule to diagram, to the diagram strategy, is to label the diagram with any given information, followed by any other information that you can figure out for yourself, um, and then to look at the question and see how all of that all together helps you to answer the question. So the question says, in the figure above, the circle has sensor O, which we see there, and has radius 10, which we do not see. So I'm going to just label this with 10. So 10 there and 10 there, because those are radii. If the length of arc AB shown in bold, so we see that here, is between 5 and 6, what is one possible integer value of x? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually solve for x when 5 is the arc length and when six is the arc length and that should give me a range of values where i'm just choosing one possible integer that's in there so how do we find arc length so what i like to do is i use this formula that says x or the central angle divided by 360 or the total angle measurement of a circle uh, multiply it by the circumference, which is the length of the entire circle, so 2 pi r. Right? So this is the fraction of the entire circle, basically, is how I think about arc length. So what do we know? If I treat this arc length as 5, which we know it's not, but 5 is like the lower end of it, I can say 5 equals x over 360 times 2 pi r. I can then just combine all this together. So I have 5 equals 2 pi r x all over 360. I'm going to multiply both sides by 360. And there's other ways to do this, by, by the way. I can simplify this in a very different way. So don't worry about the steps that I'm taking necessarily and more so the reason why I'm doing it. So here's 360 times 5. So I get 1,800. I'm just trying to solve for x. So 1,800 is equal to 2 pi r x. But I actually know what r is, right? So I'm going to replace this r with 10. By doing that, it makes the this side here equal to 20 pi x. And then to isolate x, I'm going to divide both sides by 20 pi. So 1,800 divided by 20 pi is, so divided by pi, I'm getting that x is equal to 28.647, and it keeps going, okay. So obviously this can't be the right answer, first of all, because we know 5 isn't even a possibility, because it's between 5 and 6. Second of all, because we know we're looking for an integer, a whole number, right? So we know it has to be bigger than 28. So even from here, I can pretty much say that 29 is going to be a possible answer, right? Because that's the next integer up. So we could just be done and say 29 is it. I think that's what I want to do here. But, you know, if you wanted to do more, you could do this whole process again with 6. So say 6 equals x over 360 times 2 pi. Again, we know r is 10, so just throw it in initially. And what you'll find is that x equals some number. That number is bigger than the 28.647, right? So whatever that number is. And in between here, you're going to have integers, of which, of course, 29 has to be one. I don't know what this gives you, so maybe 30 is in there as well. I don't know, but I'm going to just say 29 is the best answer to show you how to save time on this question.